and welcome back this is episode one and this is a continuation straight off of the other this is the random seed and here we are so as you can see the sun is just coming up yay all right so I did my inventory let's go find a tree to punch because this is pretty much going to be generally like regular Minecraft, but with a little bit of difference, the tools are going to wear down a lot faster. You're going to have to use and make the Mind Fantasy tools, and we're going to show you how to do that. So let's get us some wood, and then we are going to find we can a piece of stone I must find a piece of stone here we go down in the dark hole nice all right what we're doing here is we're going to punch the stone we are going to get the shard out of it the sharp rock the reason why we need the sharp rock we are going to cut the leaves leaves give us sticks and vines two things that we need to create the stone pools for the mine fantasy 2 so let me go ahead and take care of gathering up some of these I do not like floating trees in my world. We're going to finish breaking this one up. Floating trees are evil. At least they are for OCD people. Alright, so let's come out to the nice sunny area. Spot out. Ah, yes. And there is an exhaustion bar. You can see down in the bottom right-hand side that just filled up. Uh, and that makes your character breathe a little heavy. It makes him sound a little creepy. So let's make a workbench. In fact, we'll make two workbenches. We are going to need them. And then we're going to throw that in, grab, and make some birch timber. So, first thing we're going to want to do, if you look in here, there's a getting started guide. And you can pull this open and read it, pause it, read it. But we're going to be making the carpenter bench. After the carpenter bench, we are going to make the stone pickaxe, a stone hammer, and my favorite, the stone spear. Cannot beat a reach of three. You can fight a creeper and not have to worry about being blown up. That is the best thing of that. So we put the crafting bench up there. Planks on each side and that will give you your carpenter bench. First thing we're going to do is place it, access it, and we need immediately need a pickaxe so the pickaxe pattern as you've seen was two sticks the vine and two sharp rocks on each side now as you can see you got to punch it to make it so this is actually put together by hand so what punch means doesn't literally mean you get the sand there and you're punching the thing to make it do what you want. Although it kind of is. Alright, so. We're going to come back here. you seen that rock I broke out. Stone. It gave me two. No, it gave me three. Sorry. Gave me three uh, sharp rocks. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to get cobblestone. 
see how long that is lasting. Pick's lasting quite a while. Let me go make a wooden pick and I'll show you what exactly happens if you try to do a workaround and not make this. So, to make sticks, you just put well, you just put one of them in. And you pull out your sticks. There's that. Of course, probably be helpful if I got the the timber I need. Oh yeah, I need to really make these sticks, didn't I? Okay, here is a wooden pickaxe. Let's go show you what this does. It's uh, pretty sad. To tell you the truth. And yes, you can change it in your config, but um, showing you how to work with all this stuff. As you can see, that was two, there's three, there's four, we're already in the red. And five, and six it breaks. So, making those isn't that good. Well, we're about noon, so we are going to have to dig our hobbit hole real soon. Now, you can make a shovel in this, and what you do is you hit the basic tab down here to go to artisan tab. Here is your primitive tools. Let's go ahead and flip through. The reason I got cobblestone is you can make eight sharp rocks by hitting it with a hammer. So we'll be making that hammer. And here's the shovel. We're going to need one of those. Remember the recipe. Two sticks, sharp rock, and a vine. So. Well, let's get to work here. First things first, we need a hammer, which is a stick, a vine, and sharp rock, put together by hand. All right, so let's go ahead and just throw three of those in. And you see that didn't do anything when I held the button down. Give it about a second in between. You get a nice big jump. Look how much that's taken. If I do it too fast, it goes real slow. So, it gives us 24 sharp rocks. So, let's uh, safety first. We will make our stone spear. There's many different weapons that you can make in here. Swords, axes, clubs, maces. I prefer the spear because of the reach. Again, like I said, keeps the creepers away. And everybody knows what it's like with the creeper. Oh no, that's a hoe. See, now I told you remember that recipe? I forgot it. So, the shovel shovel was back there. The shovel is two of those. I think I had it backwards. Stone hole, so shovel. See? We don't really need a hoe yet. So we uh, got to find some water to plant around. Right now, we are just going to spend the last few minutes digging in somewhere. See if we can make a. No, we don't want that up there. Let's try to make a uh, axe real quick. It's two vines, or I'm sorry, two sticks, one vine on top, and two sharp rocks like that. And then we can build it. All right. Let's get the axe. Come on, get down there. 
pick up our workbench. Come on, break, break, break. And then we run over here real quick because I do want some more wood. I want to be able to make some charcoal so that I can build a few items specifically. And I'm out of time. I got to go. Let's head over here. Come down in our hobbit hole. And we're going to have to block this off with dirt at the moment. Alright, so... Put the workbench there. Make ourselves a furnace. Yay, hot topic! Yeah, hot topic. According to South Park, that's where vampires are made. Alright, so let's make a little bit of charcoal and we will make some torches so we can see what we're doing in here. This is just temporary. I'm not going to do too much in here other than survive the night. See, I usually like my pick and a shovel, axe, the hammer can go over here. And it is dark. There we go. So, let's see what we can make. What do we need? Let's go back to basics. You just gotta cycle through it. Alright. We made the carpenter bench. We made a pick. And a hammer. And we showed you how to make the sharp rocks. And the stone spear. We've made the stone axe. And there's carpenter again. You know. Uh, the fire pit. We can make one of those when we find an area we are going to stay at. I don't want to make that yet. Um, the dry rocks used with the fire pit, that uh, actually takes place at the flint and steel because in this you're required to make the flint and steel with Mind Fantasy 2. The uh, regular Minecraft one where you just use a piece of flint and a piece of iron in the workbench has been turned off in the config files. Yes, I am playing this strictly my Fantasy 2, making it a little bit harder because I want to teach you guys how this mod works. I don't want the workarounds. That's why I didn't add in like, oh, I don't know, Tinker's Construct where I can make the mega tools. Yeah. Uh, there's the stove. We'll be making that later. And then you can make an oven. Stone oven. That comes in handy. That, that does have to be put on top of a forge in order to cook with. But it does do a nice job. The tanning rack we will be making eventually. Um, and we'll have to make the stone knife. In fact, let's see if we can actually do it. Yes. Yes. I believe we can have the technology. All right. So we come into the workbench and it's just eight around and you have to use the hammer. That's this little symbol up here. And so in the red that tells you what you use. The, the fist means it's made by hand. The hammer means you have to have a hammer. Now, if it's a hammer with a one, that means it has to be a tier one hammer, which is going to be copper, or is it bronze? I can't remember. I believe. No, it is bronze. Um, copper is a tier one as a uh, regular hammer as well. But that right there made us our shabby tanning rack. 
that will come in handy after we slaughter some poor innocent animals and got them for all they're worth. Kind of brutal, I know. All right, so let's not throw the vines around. Those are precious. Let us figure out. Let's flip back through here. I need the knife recipe. Sharp or sharp arc, stick, and bomb. So, sharp rock, stick, vine, and it's by hand. Now all I'm doing here is hitting the right mouse button when I do that. And it also lets you access. So that will come into play with the shabby tanning rack. And it's also used for cooking. Uh, we'll show that later on. Which, how to use it for cooking. There's no sense showing you now since we're not going to be making anything quite yet. Uh, anvil we need stone for. So we'll make that later. Here's the forge. The forge we will make later. It says coal. I'm going to try making it with charcoal to see if it will make it, then, or if it's interchangeable. But we'll, we'll see about that. That's, a, that's an experiment. As one of my other favorite YouTubers says, it's a for science. You will need to make stone tongs when we go into forging, which we're going to have to set up to do forging as soon as we find an area. And we do need the blacksmith apron, which means we need leather. So, that's why we made our canning rack. Okay, so let's try to do something a little interesting here. Um, let's go ahead and get the door made. We're going to come up here. We're going to place the door right there. Awesome. And then we're going to close the door. Now we can see the time of day. I'll break all this up when I go to leave, because when we leave, we are going to leave. There's no sense sticking around. But in the meantime, let me make a couple more torches. And I'll use sticks, after all, they do grow on trees. Haha. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Not. All right. So there's that. And I would try the f do the forge for you, but I gotta cook this cobblestone down and I wanna make sure I have eight so I don't waste. I don't mind doing it for the torches because they are really kind of necessary. And the sun is coming up. Look at that. I can't talk the night away. Actually, I'm a very quiet person. So doing the uh, videos is quite interesting because it's forcing me to do something I normally don't do. Talk. So you'll have to bear with me if there are dead spaces because sometimes I do forget to talk. It's just my nature. Let's go ahead and take our torch. No sense leaving it. We're not going to be here anymore. We're going to take that. We're going to come up and see what kind of scary stuff's out here. We have no spawns out here. Oh, they're all in the forest. Look at that. We're just waiting us to go into the forest, the deep, dark forest. Of course, reminds me of Hansel and Gretel's story. Hmm. Let's hope we don't run into a gingerbread house. 
And let's check the map. Okay, we have water down here. It looks like plains over here. So, that would be this way. This way. Got to go that way. Got my spear. So, I have my spear. Nothing scares me but skeletons. Once I get my bow, eh, they won't even really scare me that much. Ah, I take it back. One thing that really does scare me is uh, dragons at this point. Hey, there's the skeleton. He's got a sword. Oh, look at you. And you're down. All right, this is the berry bush. Um, comes in handy. One, free food. Just right click to pick it. And, ah, oh, juicy berry, we'll save those. But we'll eat a berry. Now, if you wanna see, uh, let's see, it should be right there on that tab, which is the biological gin. So we left click on it to open it. And this tells you about the berry bush and the trees. We do have a yew tree. There's three trees added in this. The yew tree, iron bark tree, and the ebony tree. Uh, they are different tier woods, so they come in handy. You do want to find them. You'll probably only get one, one uh, sapling out of the wild ones. If you're lucky, you can get more. But I usually only get one out of the wild. And uh, you do want to gather them. So. Before we stop, let's no. kill the cow. No. Look at that reach. Isn't that reach awesome? No. There we go. There's another cow. How about no. No. They can't get away. It's awesome. Ooh. Look at that. Let me back up before I get shot in the back and knocked down here. I may have a gravestone marker, but that doesn't mean I want to go into a pit to get my gravestone. So I can move that up. I have four leather. That is plenty enough for that. That wasn't leather, that was hide. No! Stop, I'm not going to hurt you, I lied. All right, so this is not a good, good thing. Definitely not, not cool. Well, we could build that in the field. I don't see any reason not to. When we have water, we had water back there. But this field's big, and. Lo and behold, we have mountains. That means I can go over there and get coal and copper. And that right there is... What is that? I thought that was a... Uh, a dungeon. Chicken dudes, right? You know, I believe it is a dungeon. It's just buried. Okay, so yeah, we will build here. Oh, we got pretty flowers too. We can make a nice flower bed. So yeah, we'll build here. Um, for right now, we'll build out here. But for right now, well, no, we won't go in there. We'll just we'll just take over an area. 
Okay, well, when that happens, just pull out your dirt and dig with it. So, in the next episode, we are going to make another shovel and another pick for a spare. We are going to go over and find some coal and copper and hopefully maybe some tin so we can start working on stuff. I can see coal right there. As a matter of fact. But, we will... Uh, Make those items, go over, get that, maybe get some wood, ensure that we can get our place started. The last thing I'm going to do before we go is hit the B button, and I am going to call this Base. And I am the Devil Dancer, therefore it is red. And hope you all have a nice day, and I will see you in the next episode. Happy Minecrafting.